Hello everyone, Mr. Murphy here and today's part 6 in the series where I show you how to create a Skype tool and today I'm going to be showing you how to grab the connected user's profile and then edit the, edit the file if you want and then press save and it will set it to Skype um, so it's not as complicated as you think uh, so let's get into it now usually it should be going in profile but I don't really want to edit or like resize this because everything's laid out nicely so I'm just going to add a uh, a new tab into here, and I don't know what I call this. Just more profile. You can call this what you like, really. Uh, so inside here, what you're going to want is some labels, and then we also want a text box, text box. And also two buttons. So this button here will be get uh, get profile or something like get profile info. Probably have to make the button a little bigger. I'll match up with the uh, size of these text boxes here. And then get this one too, and uh, I'll just rename this to save or set. Set profile info. Now, if we just uh, move these buttons down because we want to align this a little bit, uh, so let's get this label, and we'll call this one name. Copy these two. Get some room. Copy them again. And we'll get a couple. I I won't show you a lot. I'll show you how to do. Uh, let's just say I'll I'll do five. But if you know uh, Skype, they have a lot of fields in your profile, so you can add the rest yourself. It's pretty common sense you'll get to know what they are really uh, so we'll have name uh, what else can we go for we'll get birth we'll get the birthday uh, we can also what else should I get the country uh, we'll get maybe their time zone Put a lowercase red, and the last one we'll just do uh, maybe their mobile number. So what we do to grab this info is once we're connected, um, get profile info. What we, what we want to do is um, text. Again, we need to know the name of these text box nine. So. Textbox nine dot text, and that will be equal to uh, what? What have we set? Was it Skype? Did we set it to? Yeah, Skype dot current user profile dot full name, and then I'm assuming the next one's textbox ten. Oops, textbox ten dot text, and that is equal to Skype dot current user profile dot Birthday, I think we did second. Birthday, which is 10, 11, 12, 13, 12. So they got mixed up there. Uh, so let's just move this. Yeah, so underneath here, we got text box 11. Dot text, and that is equal to Skype. Dot current user profile. And I think I did country for the third one. And we got text box. And this is where they got mixed up. So 13 dot text equals Skype current user 
Oh, God. Uh, what was 13? Time zone. And that is just dot time zone. So it's pretty straightforward um, what they are. So if you want to add the other fields, it's pretty much Skype that currently is a profile dot. Or if you just come into Visual Studios and uh, if, if you literally type equals Skype dot current user profile and when you press dot it gives you the whole list here of what you can really display really so the IP country th that you can display a lot of things like the balance about the user there's a lot to display so if you don't know what to display or what you would use to display a certain thing uh, everything you can do is here so that's where you find that and the last one there was I believe phone mobile I did so that would it be it for getting the info um, so let's just start that now each profile they may not set or you might not have had uh, a lot of information on your profile like me I don't really st store a lot of info there so there won't be a lot to display so to do is you've got to connect to Skype first and then get profile info so as you can see uh, it's got my name my date of birth it's a bit funny how it's displayed this really because it's got the day here the month there and the year there but that is my date of birth and then obviously my country and the time zone I think that's just GMT plus one I think it's just displayed one though that's pretty weird uh, and yeah obviously I don't have a mobile number on my profile for obvious reasons. So now what we want to do is just set the profile info and that is pretty easy to do so uh, if we just exit the tool come to the design and double click set profile info and just like it's pretty much the opposite of this so Skype what we got so first of all we would literally type Skype dot current user profile dot full name and that is going to just be equal to text box uh, text box 9 dot text so it's just the opposite of this really it's so simple it's unreal but to save me some time just copy all these Two more. So this one is uh, text box ten. Dot text. Oops. That's the only annoying thing about the uh, auto thingy on Visual Basic. It sometimes does what you don't want it to do. So that is that, and then we've got text box 12, dot text, and then lastly text box 13, dot text. Right, so in theory that should work, so let's test that out. I don't really have much information on my profile which I wanted to really change, but if we connect that and then get the info and then my birthday let's just say I just changed my name even though we've already sort of done that here but let's just see if it works uh, Mr. Murky I'll just put an exclamation mark and open this up uh, click tool set that oops we got an error what was this On text, this one here. It's, it's because I think we're setting them all at one time. Debug, set debug in. Because we only changed one thing, but it's setting all of them. I don't think Skype can. Uh, let's check. 
thing for me, but we need it. So what you could do really is do them individually. So what you'll do is have a button here. So copy that, copy a few more times. Have them like this. I know it's a bit messier and you've got to have a lot more things, but it's possible. So you'll just put set, set name, uh, set birthday, and so on. So you'll do that and you'll double click on birthday and you'll just copy this line, which we already did. Put that there like that. Remove that from that function and then so on for each one I might as well do it now because I don't want to leave it like this uh, set country set time zone and then set the mobile and then this was button 11 so country grab that move that from there Time zone. The last one, which was mobile. Grab that and remove the time zone. Put that on there. So that should be that if you want to do them individually. I know it looks a bit messy, but, well, I don't personally like that anyway, but that's probably what we're gonna have to do. Um, so yeah, that'll work now, fine. So connect that to Skype. We've done that, okay. Get the info. Uh, so yeah, got all that now. So that's that for this video. If you did like it, please be sure to thumbs up and I'll see you next time.